this video, I'll show you how to work out if a test is left-tailed or right-tailed. When you run a hypothesis test, there are three possibilities for tails. A right-tailed test is going to have a greater than symbol in your hypothesis. A left-tailed test has a less than symbol, and a two-tailed test will have a not equal symbol. Let's take a look at a right-tailed test. This is sometimes called an upper test. That's because it's in the upper end of the distribution with respect to the number line. For a right-tailed test, your hypothesis statement contains a greater than symbol. Notice on the number line how the numbers get bigger or greater as you head towards that right tail. As an example, let's say a battery has an average life of 90 minutes. The manufacturer comes out with a new battery and you think the batteries last a lot longer. Your alternate hypothesis, that's the one you're testing, is that the battery life is greater than 90 minutes. As this has a greater symbol, it's a right tailed test. When you're trying to figure out if a test is left or right tailed, you're only interested in the alternate hypothesis sign. In other words, you can ignore the null hypothesis when making that decision. Next we have the left tailed test. This is sometimes called a lower test. Notice how the numbers get lower as you move towards the left tail. The alternate hypothesis will contain a less than symbol. For example, let's say you think those new batteries have a lower lifespan than the original. As your hypothesis, that's the alternate hypothesis, has a less than symbol, it's a left tailed test. Let's take a look at a few examples. Sometimes you'll be given a question and asked if it's left, right, or two-tailed. The only information you're given is the null hypothesis, that's H sub zero, and the alternate hypothesis, H sub one. You might also see that written as H sub A. So our null is P equals 0 0.2, and the alternate is P is less than 0.2. We're only interested in the sign of the alternate hypothesis. It's less than, and that's a left-tailed test. In this next example, the sign of the alternate hypothesis is not equals to. A not equals sign means it's a two-tailed test. In this statement, the alternate hypothesis has a greater than symbol. So that would be a right-tailed test. Sometimes you'll be given a word problem. So let's work through this and see if we can figure out what kind of test it is. A computer manufacturer sets the retail cost based on manufacturing cost. The cost is $1,800. However, the company thinks there are hidden costs and that the average cost to manufacture the computers is much more. The first step into figuring out these word problems is to draw a bell curve. We're told the average is 1800, and on a bell curve the average will go right in the center, so 1800 is my average value. Next we want to figure out what kind of test this is using the information. The question is, what are we testing here? The clue is in the last sentence. The company thinks the cost to manufacture is much more. In other words, they think the cost is greater than. That's our alternate hypothesis, the one we're testing. We would write that as H sub 1 mu, that's shorthand for the mean, is greater than 1800. As the symbol in our alternate is greater than, this is a right-tailed or upper-tailed test. I hope you found the video helpful. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.